Hi, I'm Isaac Stewart. Kenneth Pike and I made a book called Jacob's Journal of Doom, and the good people at Deseret Book uh, published it for us. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw Jacob from Jacob's Journal of Doom. First of all, I want you to know that when you're drawing, one of the key things that you should learn is that you, if you know your shapes, you can draw anything. If you can see the shapes in the object. Um, for example, here are some, some uh, very simple shapes. You've got a, a cylinder, a circle, um, a cube. So if you, if you can figure out these shapes and find them in, in the things that you're drawing, you can draw just about anything. So with Jacob, first we're going to start with some shapes. How I draw them is I usually start with an oval, and then I start putting in lines to tell me where the middle of his face is. Um, I split it in half from left to right, and then I split it in half um, from top to bottom. And the first thing that I usually draw after that is I, I come in here and I draw these lines on either side of the oval. Now he's got five hair spikes, and I know that the first one starts in the middle of his head. And then I can go from there and just kind of pencil in his other hair spikes. And then I can adjust them because he does kind of have a bit of a flat top going on here. Right now I'm just kind of darkening up the lines. I like to use a red pencil. This one is called Prismacolor. Tuscan red. It's a, a nice color that allows me later on when I'm scanning these into the computer to ink it that um, the lines wind up looking really nice and I can put the black over the top of it and not get the black mixed up with the red beneath. So I just follow the shape of the jaw down along the bottom of this, the uh, oval that I've drawn. So now we've got Jacob Young's um, face shape. Now to do his glasses, I follow this line right here. We know that that right there is going to be the edge of his glasses. And I, I start again by drawing these squares. Again, we're looking at shapes on either side of his face. Darken those up a bit. I add in the bridge of the glasses. And uh, the way that I draw his nose is I just follow this edge of the center line and then let the nose, just a little bit of a circle, go over the edge of the glasses here. His eyes are just ovals. Try to draw them fairly large. Kind of gives him that youthful look. His eyebrows, depending on what kind of expression you want on his face. Here's kind of a confused look on his, um, just from his eyebrows, but you could do other things too, like if you were to draw his eyebrows like this, that would be happy, or if they were both like this, that might be kind of a worried look on his face. This is more of a confused, what on earth are you doing sort of look. But we're still going to give him a bit of a, a smile. And again, this is just kind of a part of a half circle. So again, it's just a shape. We're just filling in the shapes here. Give him another circle in there for a tongue. And there we go. He's kind of like, <laughs> that was a great joke, Dad. Thanks for telling me that. I'll remind me never to tell that one to anybody. Okay, so for Jacob's body, he's about three and a half heads high. So draw a line down. One, two, 
three and a, just a little bit. This is about how tall he is. He's got a bit of a slouch to him. So I put his, his, the top of his pants line about one head down, which leaves one and a half heads for his legs. This is a, usually a good way to, uh, to draw is you, you measure things within the drawing. So that's why I'm using heads to figure out what, um, how, how high to make him. gonna follow that down. It's kind of a nice S curve here for his slouch. Darken the lines up there. For his arms I just I just pull him right off of his body here with some um, lines coming off. I figure out where his hands are gonna be and draw draw more circles guys. Learn the shapes. Follow that down. So this this hand right here is going to be hidden partially by his body. So I'm just going to kind of put the hint of a thumb and and a finger and maybe maybe just draw another ov overlapping finger right there. Now just put a line on there to give him a give him a sleeve on his shirt. We'll follow it over to the other side and do it about the same height up. So then we've got his other hand that we need to do here. And I like to do on Jacob is uh, give him a couple of sausage fingers. It's a standard thing to do with a lot of cartoons. So here's his thumb. It's kind of like a little sausage. And then overlap them here. So there's there's a hand. For his body, for his pants I mean, I draw this kinda choo-choo train shape down at the bottom and then I just repeat it for his shoes. Then for his pant leg, we can just kind of follow the contour of his th these two lines. Give it this line right here because in the final book, fill fill his pants in with black ink. So I, I leave this as a white line there, so you can tell where his pant legs are. Otherwise, he looks like he's wearing a skirt, and we don't want that. That's how you draw Jacob Young from Jacob's Journal of Doom.